guys welcome back to our channel so in today's video i thought i would give you an updated house tour since the girls have joined me and my house looks a little different and if you haven't already seen my previous um, house tour i will link it in the description so yeah a few things have changed i am still staying in a one bedroom apartment um so we've just kind of decluttered and rearranged some things so yeah let me give you a house tour, show you how we are all fitting in in the one bed. I'm hoping to move into a two bed um, in the not too distant future, but I've got to just sort some things out first before that happens. So let's get into it. Okay, so you start off with the entryway. Um, same entryway table. Here is the kitchen. It is a really small kitchen for three of us, but it actually is doing the trick. I have a nanny slash helper who is really great with keeping things organized, so <laughs> couldn't really do it without her. All right, from my entryway table. So here's the front door. Now, this is one of the things that's changed. So this used to be the bath, uh, spare bathroom and laundry room well it is now turned into a storeroom so it's got the girls bikes and scooters it's got laundry stuff it's got bags i store the extra milk and juice um christmas tree stroller you name it is in here spare toilet paper so we are really packed to the hilt there's the washing machine so <clears throat> i have thought of hiring a storeroom but for now this is okay yeah so that's a bit of a mess my nanny does a really good job of keeping it tidy for me okay so from here now this is kind of what has changed so i have moved the furniture okay that was there right against the furthest point so against the window just to give more space i then moved this table over here so now and obviously added two chairs so this is the girls table they eat here they do their art here um yeah it's not really a kiddies table but i've kind of just adapted it then moving on here this is their little kitchen which they love um, and all their little food <clears throat> that's kind of stayed the same I've just moved it over um, but what is different is obviously all of this well, it's not that neat at the moment is for the girls so this is really part of their toy storage over there and yeah also a toy storage this is kind of blank here I was thinking to put um, another cupboard there but it all depends if we move or not. That is pretty much the same. <clears throat> I actually got rid of some things out here. There was a chair that I used to sit and have my coffee. I don't know if you remember, and a table. But that kind of really scared me because I thought, oh, if the girls stand on there, they could fall over. So I got rid of all the furniture there. And it's really just a nice clean slate for the washing. So that's that. So, yeah. I just wanted to create as much space as possible for the girls. Um, so yeah, this is working really well. The dining room has pretty much stayed the same, except we have now that basket there and the girls' car. <laughs> All right, the bathroom is pretty much the same. Um, pretty much the same. Nothing's really changed there. Okay, the bedroom has changed drastically. So, I have still got a few things here that I don't know where to store. So, it's not looking as organized as it could be. Okay, so this now uh, used to be my clothes. So, now this is for Ella and Jade. And obviously, what's changed a lot is, um, yeah, the storage. <laughs> I had to get a lot of, rid, a lot of, rid of a lot of my things. Okay, so my bed's kind of in the same position, and now I have bunk beds for the girls. The lighting is not great. Um, so this is Jade's bed on top, and Ella's bed on the bottom. So 
as you can see we're pretty snug but it's working really really well um and then this side i have a new sort of storage unit boxes with the girls toys and shoes um this is basically my cupboards and that is um the top i put some clothes that don't really fit me at the moment so this is really for me this is mostly them and this main cupboard here is um mostly for them and linen and stuff and yeah the wash box is there and that mirror i had to move over here so yeah so as you can see we are quite snugly fitting into this apartment but it really has worked um i've tried just to be as minimalistic as possible and get rid of a, a whole lot of things um so yeah for now it's working we're quite comfortable um i do have a nanny but she does not stay with us so um that also saves a bit of space so yeah the other thing i wanted to just catch you guys up on is just really how the girls are transi transitioning and how they are doing so as you know, I got Ella in August and Jade in December. So you know, when they first come home, I must admit, they have a lot of meltdowns, obviously processing their emotions, which is really, really normal. Um, but it takes about two or three weeks for them to semi-settle. So I would say Ella, you know, was having a lot of meltdowns the first two weeks. Um, and then really, because uh, I did that, oh, why is that? Sorry. Because I did the two weeks in Kenya, so it, it was really disruptive for her then. And once we got home to my apartment in the UAE, she really settled really nicely. Um, and we had really good bonding time. So, yeah, she settled pretty, pretty quickly. Um, so I was really happy about that. Then, of course, I went to get Jade. And so things obviously did change a lot. Jade, I would say, is easier. She's a little older. Um, so I didn't have that two weeks alone with her. We didn't have to quarantine, thank goodness. So she, it was challenging the first two weeks. So the first two weeks, um, she was having meltdowns. I must admit, not as many as Ella, but she still would have them. But then the dynamics of the two of them, kind of they were getting a little bit jealous of over me. And also jealous over like their toys. So they were quite possessive over toys. Um, and they were fighting a lot. So the first two weeks of me being home with them together, <laughs> you guys... <laughs> was interesting so but nevertheless i got through it um yeah with the support of family and friends i think i was crying <laughs> not, uh, you know i was having my moments of meltdown um thinking that i was not coping but i got through it honestly i can even mark it off on the calendar after two weeks exactly jade's meltdowns got a lot less um they started getting on a lot better there was less fighting there was less um you know just general in general a lot less um you know friction and a lot more peace in the house <laughs> so yeah no i must admit they are actually what is bringing joy to my heart and why i did get to i, I have a biological son i don't know if you are aware of that he is 25 years old he lives in south africa so when i had him um i only had him so it was i would say a little challenging having a, a, an only child and i didn't want to repeat that so i was either going to do two or nothing so that was always in my mind so yeah i decided to do two i did them kind of quite quickly back to back I was thinking I was going to leave the UAE, um, but I'm not sure that's going to happen now. But yeah, so <clears throat> I really just wanted them to be friends and have a companion and learn to share. And that is really happening. They are getting along so well. 
they definitely have more fun moments than fighting moments so that is really really amazing to see so yeah they <coughs> are getting excuse me <coughs> they are getting so much better at sharing um and yeah i kind of have been trying to do positive discipline with them which kind of yeah you you don't really discipline them in terms of punishment and um you kind of when they're having tantrums you just keep your boundaries clear and firm but then don't kind of punish them if they're having meltdowns so that i tried to do definitely in the beginning um as far as positive discipline goes now i am trying look there are some times where i do shouts which i'm trying not to <laughs> um and i have punished them in terms of like they don't get like an ice lolly or like we have normally have an ice lolly every day after dinner so if they're bad behaved or they're shouting or hits or, or whatever um and then they don't get an ice lolly so i found that is working or own oh, and no tv so they both love tv so um i don't think that falls into positive discipline but that has worked for me so if they are badly behaved like if they're with the nanny and the nanny said one of them is hit or they're shouting or said bad words or not sharing nicely then um I generally will take away TV and ice lollies. And then the next day, they are very careful to behave well. So, yeah, that is working. Um, I generally, yeah, I try to do respectful parenting as much as I, I can. I try and speak to them very respectfully. Um, I do have moments where I am tearing my hair out. And maybe I'm not as uh, I'm not as respectful to them as I could be, but it's really is minimal. Um, so yeah, I am learning as I go. But wow, what a blessing these girls are! Um, as hard as it can be sometimes, it's just so worth it. Um, I just love having them. They are the biggest blessing. And yeah, but so far it's all going really, really well. Um, the girls seem really happy and are adjusting well. I hope you guys are enjoying following um, our journey and seeing how my little family is growing and developing. But thank you to those people who are following us and supporting us. Um, and thank you for your kind comments and encouragement. We really do appreciate it. So yeah, the girls are actually, I'm busy teaching online at the moment. So the girls are now um, at the park or the play area downstairs with the nanny. They'll come upstairs for lunch. I'll see them for a bit and then I'll go back to work. I'm working in my friend Anthea's flat. So I have a little bit of peace and quiet while I try to work online. So yeah, that's all for this uh, video. I just wanted to update you on the house and um, update you on the girls. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys, remember to like, comment and subscribe if you're not. Alright, see you guys, love you. Bye. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action, what we can be. Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for